the Wendy Williams Show. show today. Say hello to my co-host, my studio audience staffers, and of course, my virtual audience at home. I'm doing okay. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. Today we celebrate another Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Mm -hmm. Equality, love, nonviolence. He wanted that for us, Happy King Day. You know, his favorite color was brown. His favorite meal, pecan pie and fried chicken. His mentor was, um, oh, I forgot. Oh, it'll come back to me before the end of the show. But um, what a family, what a man. <laughs> and I would like to shout out to Dexter Luther King. Very handsome. <laughs> very married, very married, but as long as we're talking about the Kings. <laughs> Martin did have uh, this son, he's still a lot, Dexter. Hi. <laughs> so I went out to Sylvia's Soul Food and I did a whole Harlem run over the weekend um, with Morel and of course, Bevy Smith. I told you I invited her. We had the, we had the um, what do you call that thing we were riding in? The, with the sprinter, we had the sprint. Uh, there, there we is. Yeah. <laughs> we ate every. There's Marco in the ferry, and there's me next to him in the Kamali, and there's Bevy in everything from head to toe, and then Morel, and then Willie on wardrobe, and Patrick, who I never hung out with. Patrick, Patrick. Let me just say. Patrick, wherever we go, we do it together. I, I, ha I had a lot of fun with you. They were asking for you, but we know that you don't go out on the mm -hmm. weekend. <laughs> uh, Sus One lives in Westchester and the Hummer wasn't going all the way to Westchester <laughs> just to come all the way back down to Harlem. So you all missed some good food. I had some good food and then I got home and I was tired because I had the itis. But I did get, you know, I like um, cinnamon toast. I, I like the Captain, um, you know, life with cinnamon. And I put extra cinnamon on it because cinnamon's good for you. Dr. Ross says so, right? <laughs> and so I pour the milk in and I get ready. And I had a new milk too, but you know, you use it all the way down to the end because groceries are expensive. And so as I'm standing there at the counter eating it before I take the rest upstairs, because you know, like I, I'm a big girl. I like a big bowl. I noticed that the date on the milk was January 1st. But a true fat so. <laughs> I didn't feel sick. The only thing I didn't do, cause cereal's the only time I ever drink milk, you know. I'm, I'm that girl, I turn it all the way up and then it dribbles down and I wipe it with my penwa and I go to sleep. 
So anyway, so I'm having my milk and stuff like that, and I'm looking for a picture on, on the Instagram, and my phone, both of them, they always act up, and you know I know nothing. But Tristan, fortunately, who's the king of the IT department here, Tristan um, has Max, who's like five now, and then two brand new kids, uh, twins at that. So you know he needs a break. <laughs> I called Tristan up mad because I can't see our picture. You know, we did a full photo shoot. Um, I couldn't see it, so I called Tristan. He answers on the first half a ring. <laughs> like, thank God somebody's rescuing me. <laughs> M- Margo, his wife, is in the other room doing whatever with the kids. Tristan's all too happy to talk to me. And I'm like, well, Tristan, well, show me this. Well, show me this. Well, show me this. And finally, I get down to, Tristan, have you seen this nonsense my brother's been putting on the internet? Uh, do, do you... Uh, cl- Clap if you all know what I'm talking about. No, clap like you mean it. You know things? Mm-hmm. You know things? I know things. Mm-hmm. I'm all on the internet. Well, honey, Tristan plugged both my phones, and then I was like, bye. I didn't even need Tristan. Uh, Tommy, let me tell you something right now. All you are is my brother. You better stop talking the way you're talking, because now it's dripping into my comment page. See, I wasn't searching for Tommy. Uh You know what I mean? I was simply looking about how people felt about last week's shows or the dresses or the guests we had on. We do do a nice production here. Mm -hmm. I'm minding my own wendyshow.com business. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot of comments about your brother doesn't like you or you better watch your back because your brother's on, on one. Or, Wendy, I can't believe you're this kind of person or that. He's pegging me to be a person that I am not. Honey, you don't want me to start pegging you to be the person that you are. With full-blown receipts. I could fill the audience with receipts. With the leftovers all the way around the block. Norman, do you understand what I'm talking about? I understand about? what you're talking about. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand oh, what I'm talking about? I understand what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm. You are my brother. Let's keep it that way. Right. If you want to talk on the internet, then you talk about the things that you think you know about yourself. You don't want to talk about the things that I know about you. For sure. By the way, do you like my dress, Tommy? Yes! He would like a dress like this. Excuse me, crew in the back. (laughs) That's enough enough about that. My mother's watching. Mommy, you know I know better, but you read the, oh, never mind. She's busy with um, Mr. Abernathy, who was Dr. King's very good friend. They're they're having a big celebration now, and of course you know, Shirley is somewhere in the room Uh (laughs) taking notes. Suzanne, I'm gonna get off of it, but I was on one last night. Oh, all right. Old milk didn't even have me run into the I toilet. No, if it's a day old, I don't drink it. I don't go near it. I can't believe you, you didn't get like sick. Oof. But you read the blogs. Yeah, I see them. Mm. Could you believe that? Mm. Mm. Not good. <laughs> Why are they all laughing back there? <laughs> because they read the blogs <laughs> and they can't believe that I'm actually uh-huh. voicing uh-huh. my, I've been you holding are, back you, for years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, years. Mm. But had no reason to say anything. Like, what's, what's to say? But now I'm seeing, you know, he... Uh, so. You and your wife better get your life before I get it for you. 
Is it almost 11 o'clock? Almost. Okay. <laughs> it's, almost, it's soon, so soon. Okay, okay, <laughs> Way yeah, soon. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I didn't watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta last night on account of I was busy. <laughs> but Cynthia, my friend, called my manager, Bernie. Bernie calls me while I'm busy on my phone. I'm like, Bernie, leave me alone. I'm up to something. And so he said, no, I just called you because Cynthia's people called me. I said, now, wait a minute. What are they calling you about? So Bernie's checking to see what they're calling about, Cynthia. But in the meantime, I understand last night there was a debate over whether to invite your father to your wedding or not. And so to me, in the bigger scheme of family problems, why wouldn't you invite your father to your wedding? This would be her third wedding, right? Her second, her second. Se second wedding. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently Cynthia hadn't been close to her father for years, but Cynthia's a grown woman. We don't know the origin of this, but Cynthia's mother was left by the father when the girls, Cynthia and her sister, were Mal, were very, very young and never donated to the house. The mother, Cynthia's mom, had to work, you know, triple time to take care of the girls. And of course, these aren't easy girls to raise, not when they're born beautiful. You know, they, you know, they're, you know, and I don't mean that in a sarcastic way, I mean that in a beautiful way, you know. The pageant girls, that's extra money. Take a look. Although I don't have the closest relationship with my dad, he's not gonna be here forever. So I just want to, at least give him the option to come if he would like to come. There could be drama with my mom. I mean, she'll just be uncomfortable and upset with me. It seems like you're, you're, you're caring more about what other people think on that day than what you feel. Well, uh, as my parent, my mom has consistently been there. So she definitely has earned the right to do whatever the hell she wants to do at the wedding. Including telling you not to invite your dad to the wedding? See, I'm with him. A wedding is supposed to be your day and you're supposed to be allowed to invite whoever you want, even if you're inviting people who don't get along with each other. A wedding is supposed to be your day. And Cynthia is old enough to understand that. But do you remember years ago, we covered this on Hot Topics, Cynthia's mom helped Cynthia with a public service announcement and it had something to do with physical abuse. Now, I don't know whether Cynthia's father physically abused Cynthia's mother, but all roads are leading to some place we don't know. Mal kind of wants to stay out of it. Uh, Cynthia's daughter says, Mom, I don't really know him, so it doesn't matter that he's not there. It doesn't matter. Now, see, him walking her down the aisle would be a big deal to me if the father walked Cynthia down the aisle. Cynthia was walked down the aisle when she married um, Peter. Peter. I just think we're making too much about a grown woman's wedding that... <laughs> <laughs> they should have just gone to the justice of the peace. Mike wanted to invite Portia's ex, though, to the wedding. And yeah, the hot dog king. And, and Cynthia does not want the hot dog king to be there because Portia is Cynthia's friend. Now see, both of you all should be allowed to invite whoever you want to the wedding, but see, this is where the fight starts. Because even though both of you all should be allowed to be in, able to invite who you want to the wedding, there should be a mature way of discussing this without the cameras, where my dad's not coming, the hot dog king is not coming, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? And everything else on the episode looked the same. Oh, Candy's ex block, such a hot name. <laughs> but block has got a whole bunch of kids and block worked, worked the block back in the day. And block was making millions of dollars. So he was a good block hugger. Well, anyway, Block owes, according to Candy, owes $92,000 in back child support. 
Now, his real name is Russell, but I like to call him Block. <laughs> By the way, the chief is um, already in the process. I'm, I'm already on um, dial-a-date, or whatever you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes, get it. Um, yeah. Um, I trusted Willie, cause Willie and like, we have a whole catalog of pictures of me. Some of them are horrible. Some of them are very beautiful. Or some of them are, and so I trusted Willie and Morel. I called them up and I said, look, you two, between the two of you, pick out three good profile pictures. Right. And, and I asked the chief, I said, pick out three good sites. I don't care what the sites are. Don't, don't bother me with this mess have everything go to your phone, and then I want to, I don't want to trust Chief to say, you know, well, this guy looks to this or to that, not for you, no. I want to be the one to say, and get me a couple burner phones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, no, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. And so, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's, it's going down, it's going down. It would have been going down as of right now, except a couple of the sites, um, they want to see you in motion because they don't trust the pictures. Like, my name is Wendy. What do I do? I'm an entertainer. Uh, what do I like? I like long walks in the sun. <laughs> I, I like to watch TV. I could be convinced to watch what you like depending on, you know, how you ask me. I was thinking of saying that I have um, the cats, only I don't want to say I have the cats because then all of a sudden I become the cat lady. Yeah, yeah, you no, know what I mean? The cat's off. Or pets, period. Yeah. Like, no, pets are for the first, Aww. no, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Try to block me, get out. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say anything about pets at all, right? I'm gonna say I live by myself, though. I live by myself, but got lots of backup. And what else? I'm an author, you know? I love my family. I'm forced to love one. <laughs> do, you know that, do you know that I have better feelings for my ex-husband, Kevin, than I do for my br own brother? Oh. Oh, now, you know that's saying oh, something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good morning, Kevin. I'm just saying. Oh. Yes. Oh. Mm. But based on what you all have read, clap if you're with me. Yeah. Don't you start Googling him until after this show is over, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but he's all over. He's got a blog for this and a blog for that. And then one where he needs Jesus, you know, he, he goes all kumbaya and then goes back to the, the hot grease and the coughing and the spitting and the arguing with people and talking about me. <laughs> there is nothing you could say about me that either I haven't already said in my 35 plus years that you've been jealous of holding this microphone or, or that you won't find out the rest in full totality on January 30th on like <laughs> expect your family to be your enemy. My, my family now is, my, daddy, calm down. You've known these feelings. He's the one who pushed the button. Anyway, Perler's up in the booth right now. Like, what? Look, that's my showrunner. Right. David, David, can you grab a microphone? Uh-oh. Right David, <laughs> David, I'm finished. He's over there. Dave, David, I'm finished. LOL. But, um, but I know you wanna hit your blogs too. Mm -hmm, I know you, now look, there are a few stories I wanted to get to, David. If you don't mind, juggle the commercials so I can talk about Plies, you are beautiful. 44 years old, Plies had a funeral for his teeth. Look, 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 Plies had a funeral. I think that this is such a brilliant idea. He's 44 years old. Now his grills are the ones where you, you know, they're the real deal, like all up in there, bad breath and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's the funeral. No word on where he buried them. 
but because he doesn't want like fans, I guess, going and dig him up. His mom, his mom cried cause she's so happy. And um, do you see how young he looks? He looks every bit of 30 years old. He looks like a nice young man that you could bring home to your house and say, Mom, this is Plies. Even Plies is not a bad name. It implies that he's a good guy. Hilarious, hilarious. Okay, so that's one story I wanted to get to. The other story is stop giving the business to Ben Affleck. Um, so Ben Affleck, everybody, um, is defending his ex, um, Jennifer Lopez, which Ben Affleck has a current girlfriend who tries to stay out of it. Seems to be pretty good for him. And, and also, she ha he has an ex-wife who I insist one day he and Jennifer Garner will get back together. I do. In the meantime, he was um, doing this, um, Oh, I want to talk about Regine A being back with that man. Yeah, we will. That's uh, uh, Sharon Carpenter. Okay, good. Okay, good. Because I spoke to Jason Lee uh -oh. Uh -oh. This, this morning. And Jason Lee and I both, Regine mm -mm. Anyway, look. He talks about his relationship with Jennifer Lopez on the Hollywood Reporter podcast. He says that Jen is unfairly targeted by the media back when they were together. People were so mean about her, sexist, racist, you know, ugly, vicious was written about her in ways that uh, if you wrote it now, you would literally be fired yeah. for saying those things yeah. you said. Now it's like she's lionized and respected for the work she did, where she came from, what she accomplished, as well she should be. I feel like Jennifer Lopez upgraded Ben Affleck. He was already a good actor. He's a good looking man, even when he's, you know, dusty and kind of dirty looking. He's a good looking man, but he, he just made it so, well, she just made him so that he was available to all of us girls, you know what I mean? He, not just, you know, a girl that he went to high school with in Boston, but all of us. He was so hot back. I mean, I don't think he's a bad looking man now but he was so hot back then. And unfortunately, every interview he does for the rest of his life, people, that's probably gonna be the first question. So what was it like being with Jennifer Lopez? And I'm glad that he has an answer. And I'm glad that, I'm assuming his current girlfriend is fine with it. And I'm assuming, yeah, she's a cute girl in her own right. Look, there's Dusty Ben. He, he's, he could still get it. Um, You know what, maybe I should put, like in your profile, instead of describing what you like, I'm gonna describe like famous people kind of of. Yeah. Like, like I would say Ben Affleck, the Jennifer Lopez years, and the, what's her name? Uh, Ana de Armas. And the Arna years. And then put a picture of both. So that guys don't, you know, so guys understand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that makes me available and approachable. Even though I think that the pictures that Morel and um, Willie put, cause you know, they're over the top, probably really glamorous and intimidating. Mm -hmm. Like I want some pictures with sneakers and right. leggings and you know, no makeup, it's just a couple. Look, we're gonna take a break. I gotta go look at these pictures. 